All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to geometry. And in this video, we're going to find another segment using the segment addition postulate. Okay, here's the picture that we're given. We are given this line segment, and predictably, it's got three points on it. Those points are labeled T, U, and V. All right, so we're given some information about these segments. We're given that the distance from T to U is 9x plus 2. 9x plus 2. We're further given that the distance from U to V is just 5. Okay, and finally, we need this piece of the puzzle. We are given that the entire distance from T all the way to V, this distance, okay, this whole distance here, is... 14x minus 8. And we are asked to find, in this problem, we're asked to find this distance, the distance from T to U. That's what we want to know. So the first thing we have to do is set the problem up, solve for x, then plug x in right here, and we'll find TU. Okay, remember the segment addition postulate. Segment addition postulate says that if you have a total segment here broken up into two smaller segments, which we have, we have TV broken up into segment TU and little tiny segment UV. If we want to know what the total distance is, we just add the segments together. In this case, we'll add 9x plus 2 plus 5, and we'll set that equal to the total distance, which is given as 14x minus 8. All right, let me write that out. T u, right here, the red, plus u, v, right here, is equal to tv, whoop, all the way, tv. Okay, so now let's substitute in the values. tu is given as 9x plus 2. uv is given as 5, so I'm going to put plus 5. And I'm going to set that equal to this little algebraic expression right here, 14x minus 8, which represents the total distance. 14x minus 8. Okay. So what have I got to do now? I've got to gather x on one side of the equation, put everything else on the other side of the equation. I like the left side. So we'll put all the x stuff on the left side. Let's start by subtracting 14x from the right side, because it's being added right now, it's positive, and we'll do the same thing on the left, minus 14x. So on the right side, 14x minus 14x is just 0, and on the left side, we actually have to subtract 14x from 9x. And if you're going to do that, you're going to end up negative. So what you really do is subtract 9 from 14 and then put a negative sign in front of the answer that you get. So we have to borrow, this becomes 14, and 14 minus 9 is just 5, okay, 0 minus nothing is 0, so it's negative 5. 9x minus 14x is negative 5x. Let's rewrite, okay, I now have negative 5x plus 2 plus 5 equals negative 8. The only thing left on the right. All right, let's move these numbers over here. First of all, we can group these. What is 2 plus 5? It's 7. So what we'll do here is we'll just do a little intermediate step of saying negative 5x plus 7 is equal to negative 8. And now I need to get rid of the 7. So I will subtract 7 from both sides. On the left hand side, 7 minus 7 is 0. So I can just write negative 5x equals. Okay. And on the right hand side, I have negative 8 minus 7. Okay. Well, what is negative 8 minus 7? You've got two negatives. Okay. You're going to come out with a bigger negative number. So negative 8 minus 7 is negative 15. All right, so 
we've got to get x by itself. Right now, we have negative 5 multiplied by x. Therefore, we should divide negative 5x by negative 5 and divide negative 15 by negative 5. Okay, the negative 5s cancel on the left, leaving x by itself. And x equals negative 15 divided by negative 5. And that's negative divided by a negative is a positive. Therefore, negative 15 divided by negative 5 is just positive 3. That's what we think x is equal to. But that's not what the problem asked. People, remember, we got to find the red distance. Okay? So we think x is 3. That means I should be able to go in and replace every x with a 3. I'll do it here and I'll do it here. Right, so let's do this now. I should be able to multiply 9 times 3 and add 2 and find distance tu. But I can't just do that and be done with the problem. I have to make sure it's right. So let's do it first. What is 9 times 3? 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 2 is 29. So the conjecture here is that this whole distance right here from t to u is 29. Okay, we already know the distance from u to v is 5. That's what we were given. So we'll put a 5 there. So what do we think the total distance from t to v is? 29 plus 5. Segment addition postulate. 29 plus 5 is 34. So here's what we think. We think tv is equal to 34. Okay, let's check that. Because if that's correct, I should be able to multiply 14 times 3, then subtract 8 from that product, and I should get 34. Let's try it. 14 times 3 is 42. 42 minus 8. What are we looking for? 34. Cross your fingers. Oh, it's 34. That means we found the correct x, 3. We substituted that x. We substituted that x with a 3 right there. We multiplied 9 times 3, got 27, added 2, and we got 29. And that means that the distance from t to u is 29. We use this little symbol right here. Looks like something from a Zelda game. It means therefore. Therefore, distance tu is equal to 29. And that's what we were asked to find in the problem. Got to pay attention to what you're asked to find. And we can be really, really sure that this is correct because we double checked it. All right. That is the end of this video. Okay. Not a bad problem at all. I like it. I really recommend getting the map colors so you make your problem a little bit more visually vibrant, right? Math is supposed to be beautiful. Okay, if you found this video useful, please like the video. It helps me out, okay? Boost my ego, right? If you have a question, please post it in the comments. I promise I'll answer it. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the video. I release a lot of new videos and I want you to be notified, so hit that notification bell, please. Thank you very much.